Pyrite versus Chalcopyrite. These minerals are known to be similar between each other, after all they are part of the same mineral group known as the sulfides given the presence of sulfur in their chemical formulae. However, some key features allow us to distinguish between the two of them. For example, chalcopyrite contains copper in its formula and pyrite doesn't. Pyrite is clearly harder than chalcopyrite on the MOS scale and there is a slight difference in color. Pyrite also has a greater specific gravity. Nevertheless, there are other more visual ways to distinguish both of these minerals. One of these ways is geometrically, pyrite commonly has a cubic crystalline structure which is why most specimens tend to form in cube-like structures. Pyrite can also be found in massive habit, in dodecahedral and tetrahedral structures. On the other hand, chalcopyrite tends to form more commonly in tetrahedral-like structures. It is also known to form in massive habits. However, the most exciting way to distinguish between the two is what happens when chalcopyrite is provided with acid treatment. When exposed to acid treatment, it shows a series of vivid colors ranging from very intense blues to light reds. This is due to the fact that when the acid reacts with chalcopyrite, it causes its contents of copper to change its oxidation state. This oxidation isn't uniform, which is why many colors are present simultaneously. In conclusion, there are many ways to differentiate between chalcopyrite and pyrite. Thank you for watching. Comment what minerals you would like me to show how to identify next.